What do you see? Hello and welcome, my name is The Elder Souls HD, and if you are on this video, that can only mean one thing. That you are sick and tired of playing through Helgen. So, how do we do this? How do we run past it, instead of having to run through it? Well, let me show you the quick and easy way. As you see me die. The first thing you want to do is create a quick save on that staircase before trying to go through it. And what you want to do is you want to jump onto Alduin's wing before he can fly away. And after you jump on it, you want to jump again and kind of push to the left and forward at the same time while going through it. This will hook you onto a small platform that wraps around the tower. And I believe I get it in this attempt, so I hop onto the wing, I hop through the mesh, and pushing through on that small ledge will take you over to this platform area. And congratulations, you just skipped the whole outside of Helgen. But that's not what this skip is about. We're going to take it even further. But that requires me showing you two separate methods of how you would go about doing this. The first method I'm going to do shows the load warp save. So that's what we're going to do now. And the second method is clipping. So with method number one, we are going to hop out of bounds of Helgen and actually run to the exit where we would pop out after completing everything. Once we are here, we want to move into the tunnel slightly right before that big rock where all those little rocks are. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a hard save right here. And then we're going to go back and load the quick save we made right at the top of the keep. So what this does is it creates a hard point for us to go back to, where going in load warp is when you go into um, a cave or something like that, where it would uh, transition area, and then open your menu at the same time. And once you do that, you want to head back out to the main menu, and then load the, another hard save that you have made. And what this will do will collide the saves and it will take all of your stuff from the save you are loading to the point in the other save. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. So if you're wondering why I'm going through the storm cloaks, it's because for my character I want to have heavy armor. So all I'm going to do is get my hands unbound right here and then kill the Imperials and after that I'm gonna create another hard save. Now we need to do this because if you try to progress normally through the game out of just hopping out of bounds in Helgen you'll realize that your hands are bound for the rest of the game and there is no other moment in the game where you can get your hands unbound besides in Helgen. So it will really limit you. So you need to either go in with the Stormcloaks or the Imperials. It's doable with either faction, it doesn't matter who you go to. It's just dependent on the loot that you want. Now the only drawback to this method is that you will miss out on a lot of the loot in Helgen. Um, for this character, I'm doing a Brawler character, so I'm not doing any weapons or anything like that. So the only thing I care about from this is the heavy armor. So let's kill these two over here. The most important one for me is the captain. And once they're down, let's take down the Imperial soldier. Alright. And grab the key to make sure that he doesn't progress, even though I really don't care about that. It doesn't matter for this method, but it'll matter for the next. And just take whatever you want, because whatever contents are on your character right now will transfer over to the other save. So what you want to do is create a second hard save right here. This is going to be the save we're going to be loading in. And we're going to be going back to that first save we made right outside the transition of the cave. So now what you want to do when you load in the save is you want to press forward, which is either W or forward on the joystick, whatever you have and you want to press that while hitting the start button to open up your main menu at the same time. Now if you don't get it, it will fail 
and it will look like this where it's a regular transition into the cave and your hands will still be bound. Uh, I just reload the save. I don't know if going back out will further progress and have Rayloff actually outside already, but I want to I just reload the hard save just to be extra cautious. Now this is difficult to do, as you can see I failed it twice already. You should know when you see it, it's going to be just a black screen and you can actually hear a sound cue of your menu opening up. I think I hit it this time. Alright, so that is what you want. That's what you want to see. So then you hold down all the way until you get to the main menu and it loads you back out here. So you go to the character and now you want to load the second save that you made, the one in Helgen Keep. This will make it so that when you load into the cave you'll have all the contents of the second cave. That's really the only tricky part about that is getting the timing right and listening for the sound cue and navigating the menu. But as you can see, I'm at the end of the dungeon with my heavy armor set. And when we go through the dungeon, it will load us into Skyrim. And we can collect things, we see Alduin up above, we still have the heavy armor set, and we heard Railoff back there. So now we made it out of the cave, we're unbound, and we can continue progressing. As you can see, I just completed the quest and started before the storm. So that was method number one, and it takes you through the fastest, but it's a trickier method to pull off. Now this is method number two. This is if you are actually interested in getting the loot inside Helgen Keep, and you don't want to just skip everything after you get your hands unbound. I'm going to be going about this the same way I started it. For the character, I want a heavy set of armor. So again, I decided to uh, side with the storm cloaks, but this time, I'm not going to progress any further. Um, so what you want to do if you side with the Stormcloaks like is you want to be sure to grab the key. That thing was this dragon. will make it so that no all the humans Just in the, the dungeon the for the rest of the part will not spawn in. The or if they're already pre-spawned, they will not aggro. You want to make sure to grab Let's the key or else Rayloff will actually grab the key and open the door himself which there would make go. the point of the skip useless. Well now if you went with the Imperials, you just don't want to open the door and progress. Right. You can loot the room and, and then you'll see what we're going to be doing. We're actually going to be clipping up. through a wall and this will load us into the next portion. Alright, so now just going about the same way, waiting for them to come, just messing around. Of course, got the stamina low. So as soon as they come, I'm just going to kill them, and then I'm going to go into the starting room, where you would enter if you would be siding with the Imperials. You can side with the Imperials and go through this, but you do not get the heavy armor set, which is actually the only thing in the keep I'm interested in. And I get a cool finisher, which is another reason I love just playing a brawler style character. Alright, you always want to make sure that you grab the captain and you take that key before he could search the corpse. Alright, now that that's done, we make our way back to where the Imperials came from. And I'm just going to loot the area real quick because it's just some extra stuff. I think this is really the only confusing part to go through. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward with the rest of the cave. Um, you just need to make sure that you get this and you hit the spot correct. So what you want to do is you want to grab the wooden bowl and you want to run at the wall. Um, I found a good spot to do it is between this wooden post and the weapon rack right next to where you would pull the chain to progress through the keep. And what you want to do is you want to keep just running at the wall with the bowl hovered in front of you. You could do this with a vast majority of the items in Skyrim. You could use a bucket, a wooden bowl, 
but as you can see we actually start to clip through and we see like this blue space I think I get it this time no I'm um, when you get it you'll start there we go and you'll actually fall through the whole dungeon and it'll just pop you up in another part of the dungeon and as you can see this would have been the next area we would have gone to but there are no uh, Imperial soldiers here right now so all we really can do is loot so it's nice we don't have to worry about fighting or anything uh, you could grab any potions ingredients salt piles you want and this method is good for just collecting without having to worry about fighting. The only thing that this does not take care of are the spiders and the cave bear at the end. Other than that, all of the Imperials will be despawned except for the ones in the torturer's room. But as you can see uh, when we leave in a second, that when you enter the torturer's room, they will be kind of frozen waiting for a queue for them to start now you can freely talk to all these people nothing will happen but if you punch one of them that will activate them and then they will start to attack and fight each other but as you can see i can talk to the torturer's assistant i can talk to the storm cloaks over here how's it going guys they don't care they're just a little frozen same with the torturer Lead me to my so, work. this actually lets you open up the cage if you wanted to. If you were going to play like a mage build, but you don't want to just run through it like you normally would. This is a bit of a stress-free run through it. Because after maybe your 10th character, just going through hell game can really start to feel like a hassle. So this is a nice little way to go through it. Now the only drawbacks are that you do not get any loot from the Imperials that you would be getting, which is uh, a good source of loot if you want to collect as much as possible in the beginning and sell it off. It's not too much of a hit, as you could go on a money run in the beginning of the game anyway and get around 2,000 gold. So an extra 200 uh, really doesn't make that much of a difference. So I'm just trying to take advantage as much as possible and um, get my skills up and collect as much as I can before getting to the end of the dungeon, which is really what this method is about. The first method was about speed and about using a glitch to just entirely get through the whole thing. Well this is using a glitch to sort of take the enemies out of it and just make it a quick and easy looting experience. Now whichever method that you want to go about, if you even care, is completely up to you. I just felt it would be nice to showcase them to you in this way that if I used it in a further let's play or just to give you a basic understanding of what you would want to do just to get around Helgen. Because it is nice that you can load in the save uh, for a prisoner and just skip the immediate intro but then still for every character you have to run through. Now some things are funny like this, I don't think the script activates for the rock to fall unless your follower is with you on this side. So you actually have to run through these bars on the bottom to go up to the skeleton and grab the coin purse that's over here. So that's like another little thing that happens. But going through here for the rest of it, as you can see there's just a quest marker over there as if he's waiting for him, but he's not going to show up because he's stuck on the other side of a locked door. So you just have to progress past it, and it'll work out in the end. Now this is the first part where you actually find enemies that you have to fight. The frostbite spiders will always aggro to you, and you just gotta kinda take them out. Which isn't too bad, I'm playing on a depth difficulty, and I really didn't need my follower to give me any assistance. If you are on legendary difficulty, I would suggest just running right past them, as uh, they will take you out fairly quickly. But uh, usually if people are here, sometimes if they're running like an assassin, uh, one of the main things they want to get is the frostbite venom. Or if you're running a mage, you want to get that loot out of the cell. That would be the main reasons to go through this method. Other than that, I would recommend going through method 1. As it can be a bit more challenging, it is a greater payoff in the end, and I cannot find this door. There we go. Uh, of just getting through it much faster, 
again, like I said, you want to listen for that audio cue in the beginning, and you just want to, um, after you do that, you want to just go all the way down to the bottom until you don't hear your cursor click anymore, and you want to just exit out to the main menu. And if you can do that, you know you did it right. So we're approaching the end of this cave. All we have to do is fight or sneak past this bear. I want to fight him. I want that pelt. That's a nice pelt. Three swipes of the claw. And just take his stuff. And now we're actually getting to the end of the cave. Now I know I've been talking through most of it, but I want to just show you that if you do this and go all the way to the end of the cave, it will complete the objective for you and let you progress with the main storyline. Neither of these methods will prevent you from moving forward. Just that initial hop out of bounds will still have your hands bound and will still not complete the first mission. Now this one's a little weird. He does not show up, but you still get all doing overhead. Well, in the first one, they still get to this point because of that uh, load warp glitch. Now this may be a little confusing at first because he's not here. You don't know what's going on, but trust me, that is fine. This will work for this, just keep running forward and making your way. And eventually you will see that it will pop up completed, unbound, and it will start the next objective in the main storyline. And congratulations, you have successfully skipped Helgen. Now those are both methods, use whichever you choose, but thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you again.